Oh, hi guys. Um, something a bit different. Um, as you can see on the side, it says Ender 3 Pro. Um, might as well get rid of that because there's not much difference between 3D printer. Um, anybody that sort of follows my Instagram or social media will see that I've been messing around with a, a 3D printer. Um, a friend of mine lent me. Um, got the bug, decided, hey, Ender had a sale on. Um, I've been following these these machines pretty closely. Um, for the money, they just seem like a really capable machine, um, and it's something that I want to get into because it complements the radio control hobby really well. Plus, it allows me to do a few extra things. But um, main reason that really drew me to it is I, 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 mean, I like this sort of stuff anyway. But the fact that I can now look at um, making things for for my models. Um, properly, that's going to be great. Um, this is something that was really complement. Uh, it was going to really complement my project deer build. Um, <clears throat> so I built project deer. It runs. It's good. But with this, I'm going to be able to make it a hell of a lot better. So I will go into that. But anyway, basically, what I've got going on today is I wanted to get into the box. Um, and sort of show people what's in it. I know a lot of people have done this, but this is for me, this is for my channel. I also enjoy making these videos for people. So um, I'm gonna open it up and also put it together. Um, not really gonna go too much into it. I'm just gonna show you my process of putting it together. Comments, comment on the end on how easy it is to put together, how well the instructions are, instructions are and things like that. But this is this is the Ender 3 Pro. Uh, when I bought it, the uh, Creality were having a, a sale. Um, so I managed to get it. Um, shipping was <laughs> unbelievably fast. Um, I ordered it on a Friday afternoon here in New Zealand. Um, where I am, there's no local supplier or anything like that, so it came from China. Uh, it turned up the next Tuesday morning. Um, and that was now about a week ago. Um, so I've been itching to get into this. It's been sitting in my shop going, build me, build me. Um, and I'm still getting emails from Creality saying, your package is on its way. Well, actually, it's been sitting here for a little while um, and it came super quick. There is a little bit of a dent. Hopefully there's no damage to it, um, but this will prove it if there is. The box is all sealed. Um, but they were having a sale. It was, it was cheap. Um, anybody that was selling it in New Zealand was like, for this one was $100 more expensive New Zealand than what I got this for, so pretty wrapped. Um, so let's open her up um, and start having a look on what's inside here and what you get for your for your money, and um, then I'll get into building it. Okay, time to go. Right. Ooh, excited. It looks like the top. that's looking at these and if you might be watching this you've probably seen a few videos of these but it looks to be at this stage in good condition um, she's relatively well packaged by the looks of it so let's just pull this top layer off um, the outside of the box not that flash but hey who really cares um, actually quite happy to have this. This stuff is really good for making um, storage boxes and transport boxes for my my models. Um, so you get thanks for your order, dear friends. Um, instructions and assembly. I'll have a look a bit more look into that in a minute. Move that out of the way. You don't need that anymore. Um, so 
So she's looking really nice. So that's the magnetic bed which comes with it. Um, I've been printing on glass already so <laughs> I've already ordered um, a glass bed to go on this. I'll see what this is like though. Um, yeah, both ways. I believe the problem with this is, is that um, it only, if you go over 85 degrees on your hotbed, you have a bit of an issue with it. Um, oh, okay. Okay, so that's interesting. I didn't realise that. Uh, the LCD screen. That was over there. This is looking really, really nice. Um, it looks, though, like the sub base frame in the in the hotbed and everything um, comes relatively pre-assembled so that's not something that I was aware of um, but it's quite cool um, okay all right so sorry a bit of a gap there um, but I placed it yeah so like I was saying that was the LCD screen um, Okay, so here is a piece of 20 by 20 extrusion, oh, two pieces of 20 by 20 ex extrusion, which I'm assuming is something to do with the top of the frame. Um, go here. Uh, power supply. Um, so this is the pro version, so it comes with the upgraded power supply. Now, I would have gone for the normal version um, if this wasn't on sale and it was. 10 US dollars more on sale and it's quite cold here where I am at the moment you can see the heat but um, you know that's it's pretty nice it all looks pretty tidy on the inside so that's the power supply um, okay, before the, L, the LCD I didn't really let you guys have too little so it comes in a static proof bag um, one thing that people suggest that you do straight out of the box is once you get it running is um, on Thingiverse there's a lot of things and you can just print the back of the uh, cover for the back of this which um, I'm going to go ahead and do so that so when you're touching it you're not putting your hands on the back of it too much um, so that's set the power supply, the LCD screen, that, the two pieces of extrusion, two different lengths to work out what those are for um, in a minute um, so it's really well packaged um, So this comes a, li a lot more um, assembled than I was expecting, to be perfectly honest. That's that's really nice. Um, it's quite good. It's going to take me a bit less time to put it together. Um, so that's the basis of, of the bottom of it. Um, can anyone see that? Yeah, okay, so hot end. Um, can't really get too close with that. Um, yeah, no, this is, this is looking nice. Um, so that's the, the bottom of it, which I'm just going to move out of the way. Now I get everything out of the box. Oops. Um, your, what have we got here? I'd say this is your, um, well it's two stepper motors basically, and a unit, relatively pre-assembled. So, um, Oh, it's the extruder motor and I'm s thinking it's got a belt pulley on it so this will be um, one of the um, ooh, must be for the, for the hot end so whatever access that is XYZ something like that um, more of that foam so Pretty good packaging, so that levels off. I don't you probably can't see in there, but let's have a look. So it's the next level down. Um, what else came out with that? So yeah, that's got the PTF cable and everything on it. 
Oh, awesome. That's great. It came with, um... The right power plug. I thought this might have been coming with a US plug. Not that that really matters because the power supply has... Um, oh, and it's already set to 230 volt in New Zealand we're 230 volt not 110 um, like the Americans or other places in the world so um, sweet that's quite cool that's quite good to know obviously realised that it was where I am in the world so the power plug with the New Zealand plug or the Australian plug on it um, another stepper motor which will be the, the vertical axis um, because it's got the connection for the uh, screwdriver, so the the bed and the hot hot end run on belts, and the vertical axis runs on um, a screwdriver. Uh, a plastic piece for something. It looks like it's got a bearing on it. It does come with um, I don't know about twenty feet probably of um, filament, white filament, so that'll be quite cool. I have bought some other filament um, in here. There's a couple of other things as well. Um, a stopping, um, belts, zip ties, tools. Looks like it comes with a few tools, which is great. It's awesome, it's amazing actually, to be perfectly honest. So I'm going to go into each bag and have a proper look in a minute. Um, <coughs> uh, this will be for one of the um, extruded motors or something like that for it to run along one of the bars. Um, piece of plastic. Oh, this will probably be for the filament holder. That looks like it's probably for the filament holder as well. Um, scraper tool. So it comes with its own tools. Um, I think they're pretty basic, but it does come with everything. From what I can see, you need to. Oh, oh yep. Yeah, okay. Just be careful of that. That fell out. But that's that. There is the screwdriver for the um, vertical axis, and it comes nicely sheathed in in a piece of rubber. Um, inside, some pieces of twenty by twenty um, extruded aluminium. So just be mindful that that did pop out on me, but um, no harm, no damage. Um, I have heard people talking about um, some of the extrusion not having been threaded, having the thread for the screws, but mine all look this far to be okay. Um, so that's just more aluminium. Um, keep diving in here. That's just a piece of foam. That's just a piece of foam. Pull that out. That's just foam now. Um, pretty wrapped, like I said earlier to have this, this is good for, for storing, you know, you can, you can cut it and shape it and glue it together and, um, and make storage boxes and stuff for your controllers and things when you're transporting them. Alright, so that's, that's, that's the box empty. Okay, so I've had a chance to show you everything coming out of the box, um, that was quite cool, I was, Ooh, that was pretty exciting. I'm, yeah, a bit of a geek when it comes to this sort of stuff, so I'm pretty happy. Um, so, basis of the power supply, we've kind of went over that before, but it looks like a pretty tidy unit, pretty well built. It's got a bracket here. Yeah, pretty nice. It's a better power supply than the Ender 3. Um, the LCD control screen. So, that's it there. Nice. Pretty, pretty nice looking unit. I I mean, they've given supplied a piece of plastic with that power supply there, so I don't really see why they don't put a cover on this, but, you know, hey, we've got a 3D printer now, so let's just make one. Um, so that's, that's really nice. Um, yeah, like I said, there's some extrusion there. Various processes that, that, that comes that that much of similar I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go through and just check that everything's um, square but I check some tensions and things like that but um, pretty heavy so far so let's just basically just a couple of bags here I'm gonna have 
crack them open and have a look, see what's in them. Um, the bearing runner, uh, this looks like it's probably a tensioner of some form for the probably the you know, X, Y, Z axis. I don't, I don't really know what axis is, axis is are, which one's which yet. I'm just playing around, but um, <coughs> this looks like a uh, spear. Oh, there's a spear nozzle there, um, and some clips, um, and what looks to be, ah oh, right, okay, so there's a couple of ends here for um, the PDF, PTF tube, um, so yeah, we'll get into that a little bit more, but later, anybody that looks into them knows that this standard PTF tube apparently is, is not great, um, oh here we go, this is the SD card. Um, oh, interesting. That's cool. Uh, with the USB adapter, so um, there's two options with this one. Interesting to see. It didn't come with one. Ah, uh, so it's got a USB connection on SD card. You you chuck this into your computer. You you go into your slice of program. Um, I'm going to use Cura for this, but that's what most people are using for the Ender 3. Um, you slice your, your file, your SCL file, you chuck it on this, you plug it into this, and then you, you pretty much run it from, from the LCD screen. Um, so you don't have to have your computer hooked up to it, which is another bonus compared to the one that I was using. Um, some filament, it's quite cool to have some white filament. I've got black filament, white filament now, so that's quite cool. Uh, stop end in that bag um, so that's quite cool let's just put everything back in these bags so that I have an idea about what I'm doing when I start putting it together um, next bag piece of foam, don't know about that, uh, some cable ties, they're always good, um, wrenches, allen keys, a set of allen keys, a little screwdriver, well that, so that's, that's quite cool, that's a, like a, pretty much a full set of tools, some hardware, um, oh, um, end caps, and stick on, on the end of the extrusions. Um, some more hardware. Oh. Needle. Uh, I'm assuming that's for cleaning the nozzle. And hardware, 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 and a belt. So, like a whole lot of hardware. Nicely labelled the hardware in this bag. Yep, it's all pretty. Pretty well labelled, so it's got the. Can you see it? Yep, there we go. I don't know if you can actually read it, but it is labelled. So that's quite nice. Caps. Uh, what have we got here? Oh. 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 Well, that's quite cool. So this will be um, for clipping your. Your filament that's quite cool and then a spatula for scraping off any anything off there stoked that's quite cool um wrapped about the tools that's not something that i was expecting to receive um straight out of the box to be perfectly honest for the price that we that i paid um yeah no nah. wrap yeah nah that's new zealand saying by the way if you're not from new zealand we like to say yes and no in the same sentence a lot. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. Let's, um, oh, hold on, one more thing, I haven't looked into this yet. So here is the <coughs> bag of goodies. 
quality certificate and a little sticker? No. But apparently it's quality. It's got a certificate that says so. That's quite cool though, I might stick that yeah, over here. Um, end of three printer instructions for assembly. This is quite nice. Yeah, it's just got warnings about the voltage, so that's good. Um, I mean, this is all in colour. This is. You know what, to be perfectly honest, and people might shoot me for this, but for something that um, has come out of China. This is a really quality instruction. It's a nice paper. Yeah. That's that's awesome. And what have we got here? Warranty policy. Um, QR code for something. We'll work out what that is. See if our COVID tracer app will pick it up. And another QR card code here. Um, so that's pretty cool. Alright, let's get into building it. first page of the basic assembly of this I'm not um, I haven't sort of looked at squaring anything up too much yet everything's in still quite loosely um, I'm gonna get it all together and then get it all squared up because as you can see on my bench um, it's rocking whether or not that's because my bench isn't level or not I'm not sure but anyway that's that's beside the point so um, the instructions are pretty clear <laughs> even though you'll notice I did get this um, upright the wrong way up to begin with so there's a few things to be careful with there um, a couple of things I have already noticed is it looks like um, I'm not sure if this is part of the pro or something that they've just added on recently but there's a rubber feet on the bottom of this now um, a lot of guys talking about you know upgrades that you can do straight out of the box and they were talking about putting in um, vibration pads and stuff on the bottom of this now mine's got them um, already installed um, this went on all right power supply went on on, on all right um, instructions clearly say uh, make sure you've got the correct voltage for the area that you're in and um, it's got quite a clear indication here saying that if it says 230 volt then that's what it's set to so um, that's that's good um, everything else has kind of gone together quite well um, like I said, the instructions are clear, the bags are all really well labelled, so I'm going to flip this instruction over and, and get into the next, next page.
Hey guys, I'm gonna add a little bit in here because um, this the first four steps on page two. Um, <laughs> I struggled with it. I, I I took me a while to get the orientation all right of everything. Um, doesn't really say, but your hot end. Once you get your your um, screwdriver and the extruder motor on, um, that's a little bit tricky. You need to put the screws in, and then you you put your your driver through these two holes and tighten it up. Um, and that, that was a little bit tricky. It it is pretty easy to orientate it once you work it out, but it isn't the easiest thing to see straight up. I did struggle with it. I'm not gonna lie about that. Um, but there is a recessed hole on this side so you know which way to put it. Um, that's all good. The hot end needs to go on before this plate goes on. Um, so I struggled with that as well. And then it says to put um, the, the tensioner on. Um, but what I found was I couldn't get the belt through this to, to hook it up. Like I, I just whatever I might have done it wrong. I don't I don't know. But I ran the belt through. I took it all off again. You'll see. Um, ran the belt through and then hooked it up. Put everything back on. Extruder this bit and then the tensioner. It's still loose at the moment, but it's it's on there. So that was just something. Um, that I struggled with a little bit, so something to keep in mind will just pay attention to what you're doing there. Um, but yeah, I'm getting there. It's starting to look like it's supposed to, I think. But cheers. getting it all operating and making sure that everything's square and tight like so I haven't gone ahead and um, you know, tightened any of this up or tensioned any of my belts or anything yet because I'm going to do that off camera because it's a lot of fiddling around but um, the instructions I mean they're, they're pretty good quality um, for what it is there's not a lot to putting this together if you sort of put stuff like this together. If you can put a piece of IKEA furniture together or 
a flat pack um, you can put this together um, what I did like is it did come with all the tools that you need to put it together um, at a basic level um, a few spare parts so the spare unless I've completely missed something but there was you know three spare screws for for the main body and putting this together um, probably just as a safety thing when they're packing it to make sure that they don't short you know short short um, change you with any of the with the hardware that you need um, it does come with another extruder motor um, where the extruder motor feeds the filament through um, a spare nozzle a spare blue clip now you know I did a bit of research on these people were saying that these aren't very good or to begin with they weren't supplying them with them I also you know did a bit of research and um, I believe these rubber feet like I said earlier are new to this um, so that's good things I used that didn't come with the kit were um, I've got some Allen screwdrivers um, or hex head screwdrivers that I just find them easier than, than the Allen keys themselves um, my metal ruler, my square and a pair of pliers now the only reason I really used the pliers was just to feed the um, I think it's the Z stopper in or the X stopper in um, just to get it into the little clip that it fits in all the electronics are pretty much plug and play the main board that I've got um, clearly says which one you know there's three plugs on the back which one's which um, and it says to plug it into three so that's what I've done um, yeah she's she was pretty pretty basic to put together put some cable ties on it so um, that was relatively enjoyable I did struggle with just some of the orientation of the of of this access and things like that and getting that together like I said like I haven't done any of it up yet because I'm going to do all that later um, off camera but you know for 239 US dollars so it's, it's pretty good quality I don't think you can buy these parts separately and build it for anything cheaper um, and I suppose the bonus with this is if something goes wrong with it there's you know plenty of replacement parts available being the motors or anything like that the power supplies you know I think it's about 30 or 40 US dollars so 60 dollars New Zealand at the moment if that died on you things like that um, pretty clear pretty concise but pretty happy it's just one last thing to do and that is if I can get my finger into that pull that piece of plastic off so that's the build that's the unboxing that's my attempt at putting it together I'm gonna get it all dialed in and things like that um, but thanks for watching and um, I probably might do a few more videos on this but I just thought you know this is something that I'm gonna be using and want to use for for my RC models and things like that in future projects so um, I'll put the bullet and got one there's just so much available but cheers for watching and catch you on the next one thanks guys